Greater Fort Lauderdale is famous for its beaches, its arts, its shopping and its culture. And of course, a wonderful constant tropical climate. And many cruise lines set sail from what's known as the Venice of America. This week, we're looking into Greater Fort Lauderdale in the state of Florida. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Planet Cruise Weekly, where we're looking, as we mentioned, at Greater Fort Lauderdale. I'm Keith, alongside me is Dan. Uh, you may well have chatted to him on the phone when you rang up Planet Cruise, looking for your next wonderful holiday. If you have, you'll recognise his, uh, his dulcet tones. How are you doing, Dan? I'm very well, Keith. Good to hear, good to see, and let's crack on, shall we? Let's go. So, Greater Fort Lauderdale is an area which has an abundance of beauty and in fact many choose it as their favourite holiday destination due to its famous beaches, luxurious hotels, range of shopping and of course cultural experiences, plus the amazing choice of restaurants. Now we released an episode on Florida itself recently which you can watch by clicking here. Now Florida is really big so we thought we'd give you more detail of what to do in the area of Greater Fort Lauderdale this week. There will be some things that we've touched on in the Florida episode of Planet Cruise Weekly, but we'll give you more detail today. It has become one of the busiest cruise ports in the world and there is now a wide range of cruise lines and itineraries available here. With the port being so convenient to get to and so close to the main tourist spots, it's a perfect destination to be explored before or after your cruise. So the port itself is named Port Everglade, but don't get it confused with the actual Everglades. And it's literally across the road from Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. And don't get that confused with the other Hollywood as well, which is over in LA. Uh, and the taxi fare from there to the port takes around about 10 minutes. It's also conveniently reached from Miami International Airport, which is really handy. And that will take around 40 minutes by taxi as well. Now most cruise lines offer transfers to and from both airports and almost all surrounding hotels will provide shuttles. And it's very common for cruise lines to sail from here, particularly when going on a Caribbean cruise. Here at Planet Cruise, we can tailor make your cruise. So if they don't include a transfer, just get on the phone and give us a call because we can arrange that for you and make your holiday as relaxing and carefree as possible. For cruises that visit Greater Fort Lauderdale, click the link here. So let's have a quick look at the history of this incredible area. Well, in fact, Greater Fort Lauderdale started out as a swampy outpost with a fort built to protect against the Seminole Indians. And the swamps were transformed in the late 1800s into a series of canals by scooping out parallel waterways and creating long peninsulas between them. This created more than 300 miles of navigable waterways, which is why it's given the nickname the Venice of America. The abundance of waterways that wind up and down the coast make Greater Fort Lauderdale a boating hotspot with an amazing 42,000 registered yachts. The extensive canal network makes the water taxi one of the most convenient ways to travel and also offers you the opportunity to see the stunning mansions in the area. Owned by various celebrities and millionaires, the properties are truly beautiful, boasting some gorgeous views as well as the finest fixtures and fittings. Expect pools, wraparound balconies and private yachts to boot. Leading on from the water taxi, let's take a quick look at the beaches. And I don't know about you, but I love a bit of sunshine and there's no better place to enjoy the sunshine and warm climate than in Greater Fort Lauderdale. Now, one of the best ways to get around from the hotel is on the water taxi. Greater Fort Lauderdale has 23 miles of stunning Blue Wave certified beaches. Some of the most popular beaches include Fort Lauderdale Beach, Pompano Beach and Hollywood Beach. As a little tip, if you ever want to go to one of these beaches with food or drink, make sure you clean up after yourself as the beaches are extremely clean. Blue Wave certifications are one of the highest certifications in the US with regards to sustainability, cleanliness, facilities and safety. Now, if you don't clear up after yourself, then you could well get in trouble, and rightly so. After spoiling yourself with all the latest trends, there was a brilliant array of choice when it comes to where to dine. Upmarket seafood restaurants, pancake houses, all-American world-class steakhouses, and the classic all-you-can-eat restaurants are just a handful of your options. Now, whether you've just been to the beach or nearby shops, there's always something great to eat. And the wonderful thing is the majority of these will offer the ability to eat al fresco. Now, Greater Fort Lauderdale 
also offers the dock and dine experience where restaurants located along those famous waterways offer the option for diners to dock their yachts right at the restaurant. Talk about arriving in style. Now if craft ale is more your thing then Greater Fort Lauderdale is for you. Why not embark on the Greater Fort Lauderdale Ale Trail and sample some of the local beer. With new breweries popping up all the time, there's something for every taste. Now, Greater Fort Lauderdale also has a growing art scene from FAT Village, located in the old warehouse district and home to lots of different artists and food trucks and experiences, to the downtown and mural project in Hollywood. There are lots of ways to immerse yourselves in this growing art scene. Shopping is a huge attraction in the Florida area and Greater Fort Lauderdale in particular has everything from boutiques to the largest designer outlet malls in North America, Sawgrass Mills to be precise. For a great selection of upscale boutiques, galleries and shops, head to Las Olas Boulevard, known as Fort Lauderdale's Style Mile. Now for more serious shoppers, the Galleria Mall near downtown offers over 100 upscale shops and department stores but the ultimate shopping experience lies 12 miles west of downtown. Sawgrass Mills Mall has over 350 discount stores plus an assortment of restaurants and fast food eateries. It is North America's largest designer outlet mall and offers discounts of up to 70%. Now, if you want something a little bit more interactive than just uh, wandering around the shops, Segway is a great way to spend an afternoon. It's easy to travel to Hollywood Beach where you can have a short introduction to operating these machines before taking it out on a four mile tour. And it's a superb way to fully take in the views of the Atlantic Ocean and to appreciate all those beautiful surroundings. You'll see lots of other tourists on these segways going around the city on tours and really get a feel of, I suppose, that American way of life. Another thing Fort Lauderdale is famous for is the beauty of its natural reefs. There will be plenty of glass bottom boat tours, snorkeling and scuba adventures to be had. Now it's a beautiful thing getting right up close to those tropical fish. Now these tours have experienced staff who help beginners and seasoned snorkelers in every aspect of the tour. It's a great family fun and an educational experience as well. Yeah. Covering 1.5 million acres of swamps and subtropical jungles, the Everglades National Park is one of the rarest public parks in the United States. As you travel through the park, you will come face to face with many unusual and endangered species, including the famous American crocodile. And one of the amazing, most amazing things about exploring the Everglades is the way you do it, of course. You've probably seen them on TV, those huge airboats with the massive fans on the back. You get kind of special earmuffs to wear um, and it's so loud that you literally can't even hear yourself think but it's the most incredible thing because you're traveling you're skimming over the water you're taking it all in it's, it's, it's an incredible experience another great thing to do is the popular river walk and it's an area along the north and south banks of the new river in downtown fort lauderdale it's home to several of the city's main attractions including the museum of discovering science uh, the boardwalk center for performing arts and also this historic waterfront area was the original settlement in fort lauderdale so you've still got some of those early architectural remains that you can explore plus you'll find the luxury yachts in the marina and of course lining that beautiful river So a short walk from the beachside shops and condominiums is the Hugh Taylor Birch State Park. And it's an oasis of tropical hammocks, which was a gift from the so said to the people of Florida. And this former estate preserves four very distinct natural communities. And it's nestled between the Atlantic Ocean and the intercoastal waterway. If you visit here, you can rent a canoe and paddle along a mile long freshwater lagoon, or you can fish from the sea wall. And if you're a nature lover, you can hike along two short trails and learn about local plants and wildlife, while bicyclists and skaters can glide along the paved park road. So pretty much something for everyone. So hopefully we've wetted the whistle and got you interested. Uh, so now time for some Port Everglades stats, courtesy of Dan. Well, Port Everglades hosts 
nine cruise lines and 34 cruise ships and they come from Carnival, Celebrity, Costa, Cunard, Holland America, Princess, Royal Caribbean, Silver Sea and Seabourn. And did you know that in March 2016, Port Everglades broke the world record for the most cruise passengers in a single day? Wow. Now, on today's episode, we pretty much just focus, haven't we, down on Greater Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. But we do realise that Florida's huge, there's loads to do, and we may well have missed your favourite bit. But you know what, if we have missed something that you really wanted to see, uh, particularly about Greater Fort Lauderdale, then just comment below, get in touch, let us know, and we'll try and rectify it for the future. And if you do watch the episode we've done on Florida, you will see stuff there like the Kennedy Space Centre, you know, going out to see the space launches, going through to some of the incredible parks, and some of the, uh, some of the other areas around Florida. So I hope that's whetted your appetite for traveling to Greater Fort Lauderdale. If you need any more information or would like to comment or share your experience with us, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with one of our team of cruise and destination experts. And from all of us here at Planet Cruise, this has been traveling to Greater Fort Lauderdale. I've been Keith Maynard, he's been Dan Brown. Thank you to you for watching, take care, and see you again very soon for another exciting episode of Planet Cruise Weekly. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.